Okay, we start now. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. So this is a uh, prison architect. This, this is the correct one. This is the correct one. Why are you open? Close. Does it not like this game? fashion way. Right? Okay. Uh, Alright. Display capture is what we're gonna have to do. Welcome to this game, Prison Architect. Um, yeah, this is a video game. Uh, I don't know, I've just been- I just feel like streaming this today. For funsies, so we're gonna we're gonna create a new prison. We're gonna load my uh, preferences. Okay, this is my preferences. We're just gonna do this. We're gonna start. I just have the simple stuff. I have world size funds, weather, gangs, events. And on mutators, all I have is roof view and doggy do. Here it is. Here's the map. Now, the I just because of how difficult this game's gonna be. Let's go ahead and go to. We have treatments or transfers, which we're not gonna worry about right now. Just yet. Intake. We're just gonna close this off for a minute. Okay. So we have... So we have our workers here. We have Ke Keenan, Emerson, Joshua, Anderson, Jesse, Murtaugh. I think that's how you say his name. Crowley and Cole. And this is our plot of land. Now, I think the first thing we should do... So I think we should go to... I believe it's dismantle objects. We're gonna go and dismantle all these. Alright, get to work. We have a delivery guy here. Okay. Escape. Can I sell these? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start selling the logs here. Thank you. 
can sell these for some extra buckaroonies, which is good. Yeah, 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 put those logs in random locations, yeah. Now, I think I can also just do, uh... I think I could just sell materials, right? No. Yeah, sell material isn't gonna work on this. So I think we have to individually sell these. Unless, well, they are considered objects. We have sell objects. Yeah. I can just do that instead. We can also dump objects too. drag everything. And then we gotta dump some more objects. Okay. And now we have all this garbage here. Which is good. Go ahead and get everything. Okay. We have a, a random notebook. Tech tree. Death row. Okay. Thanks for the note. Okay. So, let's go ahead and now that we've had the these silly goobers sell the trees, they're pissed off right now. He is, at least. Um, I wonder why he's pissed off. Why are you pissed off, sir? You can't be pissed off. Let's go ahead and we're gonna start making... So we have the, the two places here. I think we should... Let's go to rooms. So we have garbage here. I think we should expand the garbage section just a little bit. Garbage. To about that much, and then we can. Do that. So we can make it like that. And then. Deliveries can also be expanded. On for a couple. Okay. So I think we should have. Let's go ahead and go to planning. Let's do a pathway that starts from here. Right? So we have a pathway that starts from here. And I think we need to have a fenced off area for this and uh, the entrances to this. So then people can't just run off and escape. We don't want that. So we want fences along the parameter here, I think. I don't know where this is gonna, hold on. So we want that to go to here. Here we go. And then we're gonna have the, the door thing here. It might be considered objects, can I do that? No. Okay. So we're gonna have the entrance stuff here, right? So I think that that's a pretty good idea. And then obviously we're going to have we're going to have let's have the fence come to here. And we're going to have like a specific gate here. And we need to have a we need to open up the reports. 
and let's take a grant for a basic detention center. So we're gonna need this stuff. So that gives us some extra money so we can do holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen, two guards, two crooks, or two cooks. Um, so I don't wanna have like an open-ended prison for this. I think uh, an open-ended prison is going to be a bad prison. Uh, it's gonna give them too much air to breathe. We don't want that. We don't want the prisoners to have too much air to breathe. So I think we should start with so we do have the we have the entrance part here which will probably be watched by hmm, what if we do something like this right have it about that big let's add two doors here okay so i think we should have some kind of entrance section here i think i don't know what i should have here i know there is this room, where is it? The not visitation, not common office, no storage, no. We do need a storage room, meeting room, graveyard, the cage. Visitation reception. Okay. Re reception, here we go. So we have reception and we have, we could also have the visitor's reception here as well. Visitor's reception would need an office, desk, fancy tables. So I think we should have a room dedicated to that. So let's do that. So we have the walls here. I think we should go out to here. For the visitation, or the, whatever you call it, room. The reception, uh, room. We have this here. So this is still, like, a room. Obviously. So this is gonna be, like, one big room. Uh, so it's, it's properly maintained. And then on this side, we'll have the visitation. Visitation reception. And then obviously we will have some doors here. Well, actually, I don't even think we should have a, uh, doors here. I think we should have a wall here. And the doors could be, like, doors will be here. Right? And then they get sent out to, out this side. I think. Visitation and stuff like that can be down that way. Okay. So I think let's have the fence made with grass. And then we definitely want, for the doors, which are right here, we want the guard, the road gate, right? Want a road gate here. Road gate here. Wait, hold on. There. Okay. So now we have those. We're gonna build those. I think, uh, I think next we should have the... We need the foundation. Let's do brick. With the large jail door right here. Right here. Okay. 
So I guess we'll start letting them build that and then I think for the rest of this I think we should have since this is visitation I think we should have a whole section so We have a hallway here, right? So this is the hallway for visitation and staff we can have the hallway go down like this to about here and we'll worry about that later but what we're gonna do is we need to have a 4x4 four four room at the very least of everything wait why can't they build the oh they're building it okay So they're gonna start building that. I think we should also hire a couple more workers. So we have a couple more. They can start working on that. Um, so for rooms, we need, this is what we need to do. So for the rooms, they need to be, where is it? Office. So they need to be at least four by four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they need to be at least that size. So we need to have walls four, two, three, four. So we can bring it out like that. And then two, three, four. This could be the warden's office because it's bigger. Probably like a bigger office anyways, but we can have um, rooms throughout this area. We could actually, if I could, I would like to make them cubicles, but I don't think I can. That would be kind of fun. We could make it, we could pretend that they're cubicles. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. No, shoot. I'm gonna have to do it like this. Fortunately. Let's do that. Yeah. That looks better. Um, it's too big. Hold on. Let me see if we can do this. Because there's, there's already a pre-made type of, uh, if we go to quick build, and we go to, uh, office. Where do they put office? Office. Oh my gosh, they get such a massive room. I guess that's how you have to do it. There's no other option. Okay. They just have to be massive. They don't need that big of an office. I guess we could also just cut this off then. Here. So, one, two, three, four. Place. I think that should... One, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. Place it right here so then it kind of matches up. Okay. And then we need some more. So let's do. That. Oh, actually, I wonder. Because there's so much room still here, we could actually probably expand it, but let's just focus real quick. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. That. Like that. 
cool. And I think we can still work with this. I think we could do... Let's see. We can do another set here, I think. One, two, three, four. Place. Four. Place. One, two, three, four. No! Okay. It's too small. Okay. So, the, yeah, yeah, this is what we're gonna have to do for this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's like that, right? So we're gonna have to do this. Right? We need room for the, uh... Fence anyways, I guess. Actually, technically, we don't need a fence here, but at least for this part. Yeah, okay. So for this side, it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to have it on the opposite side, and I think we can do a little bit of some trickery here. Like that. Or we could just not do that and then do this. I don't know. I, we can make this the uh, the storage room, maybe. Wow. Yeah. We can make this the storage room. Right here. And I think that should fit all of the bureaucracy people, I think. If not, then we can add some more on this side. But, oh wait, you know what? I just realized, this is like a three lane road. Road. <laughs> okay. We can add the doors here as well. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool. Okay. And the visitation room gets a door right here. And here. And they go, they have this hallway area here as well as other staff. So staff will go through the visitor's reception, and go through here. I should also add. I guess we have to finish until this gets finished, or wait until this gets finished. Isn't this working? Cool. And then we need to add some brick walls to this. And let's add. Double door to this. We'll make that right here. And then I think for this next section, we'll have. Go. 
And then we're also gonna need a power supply thing. Okay. I'm gonna start working on this now. Okay, so once we build that, we need to also add a big room. I'd say right, right here or something. I don't know, not, probably not that, hold on. I think they should do, we should do like something like this maybe. Um, this is a big room or whatever. We should also have... So, I think the, the hall thing should keep going from here, like this. And then, I think here... We can have a break room. Right here. And some other staff-related stuff will go as we keep going this way. So, the outer area is gonna be a bunch of staff-related stuff. And the middle section is gonna be... As we go, we're gonna add more. We're gonna have to cut through and all that garbage. For staff, but until then... Okay. So, let's go ahead and we need to... Create... Let's see. Let's create... Do that, and then let's add the staff doors to these. So those will all get added, and then we can also do that as well. Actually, just do a double door there for that, and a double door here for that, like so. And also, I think this needs, yeah, this needs a wall here. So we'll get a wall here with a double door right here. We should get a foundation here. And the, yeah, and this wall is going to get taken down for some reason, so we're going to have to refix it, but it's fine. So this is going to be the storage room. Okay. Now we have a storage room. And then we have a staff room. Let's go ahead and make the office right here. And this needs an office desk and a chair and a filing cabinet. That's all they need. Office chair, office desk, filing cabinet, and then we'll, we'll add the um, the power s stuff. So while they're working on that, we can have them go at three times speed. We need to work on the next part, so... It's gonna come out like this. Right? 
I think we should have a yard here. I think this should this should be a yard right here. So let's do something like this. So this can be the yard. And then... Well, actually, before we do the yard, I think we should do it like this instead. So it's like that. And the yard, they get like a tiny little fenced off area. <laughs> They don't get a lot of fence. Um, should definitely have something going on here. Like that. And then... I think the holding cell could be... Right here. This could be the holding cell. It's not like it was going to be used anyways, but yeah. And then I think here should be... We have a room here, right? So I think uh, this can be... Let's do... Okay. I think we should do some kind of hallway kind of thing. Maybe, maybe we should do something like that. So it's like this. So we need to make this room bigger and this room bigger. So we can accommodate. Like that. And then it keeps going. So we have something like that going on. This can be... Doors here. This will be a door here. Door here. This will go over here. I think uh, we need to have a nice... We should have a good canteen area. But I think we should have the canteen over somewhere around here. So, maybe like right here, we need to have one nice big canteen. I'm thinking. With, in the back over here, we're gonna have the, uh... That's a little bit, that's a little bit excessive. I think we should have it a lot smaller than that. Probably this big, maybe? For now? It's like a another room here for now. Like a wall with like an empty room for now. And then we can add whatever stuff over here. Like that. What is missing from this? Nothing. Okay. Now we have a warden. So we have one, t one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine different people that could potentially be related to this stuff. Oh, I didn't even realize. Okay, hold on. How foolish of me. Okay. So, so I think that's good. This should definitely be the holding cell. This will be the yard. We'll have that. I think we should have a showers connected to the holding, the holding cell that's unrelated. So I think we should do something like this. Uh, if we go to uh, this, we could do this. Well, we should do something like this. Uh, no, that's too close. I think this is fine. Something like this, right? 
This can be the, the showers. With like something going on with it. Okay. So now we need to place the walls. We should have the staff door, or actually we should just have a, a jail door of some kind, so only people who... No, I, I think maybe like a staff door should be okay, because it's not like anybody else is going to be able to get to it, right? <laughs> right? So this is going to be... The, um... Where is it? We need utilities, and this is going to be the power station. I'm gonna place the power station right here. And we're going to place the water pump... About here. And we're also going to need a water boiler too, right? I don't know how the water boiler exactly works. So I'm guessing it, it gives people hot water. Oh man. I didn't realize it was going to be that annoying. Ah, <sighs> man. And that hat is related to water. I think that requires the water boiler. Hot water pipe? Yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna have to deal with the temperature. That's gonna be fun. Transformer. I don't even know how that stuff works. Okay. We're gonna need at least a couple of these capacitors, I think. We need three of them. And then, um... I think we should start connecting stuff. say, uh, let's add those doors. And then, let's go ahead and create the holding cell and all that stuff. And then, 
We need to place some doors into this as well. Let's have one large jail door here. I think we should definitely have a large jail door here. But we need to, um... Hmm. Yeah, we need the, the fences so we can add the fences to this. And then we're going to need a jail door here as well. It'll be like a large jail door into the, the yard. Don't know what these rooms are going to be just yet. I'm still figuring it out. It's going to be something. So, I might make it blank for now and not put up the walls. Uh... And then we're going to need to add, after that gets built, I'll make the next part of the, uh, I don't know what this room's going to be. I don't know why I built this. But... Sure is. Okay. So. We definitely need a wall here. Maybe we should have it as a common room. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. But I think this could also be the common room as well. We definitely need fences going across this thing. Like so. But we need to do the, the main things. This guy's kind of trapped. He's pissed off. We're going to need these to go up to here. Very good, very good. Oh, I'm using concrete. Oops. That's fine. That's fine. Surely it will be okay. Now you can't even get to those. Hold on. And a jail door here. Okay. So now... Now we've done that. We need OK. 
Okay. With a jail door right here. Okay. And then we should build the canteen into the building. Oh, yeah, and then there we go. Okay. Very good, very good. I'm not going to have that many people, but you know. Think. Okay, so we need a holding cell. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So this is a, where is it? Holding cell, holding cell, holding cell, holding cell. Holding cell. Holding cell go here. Also, apparently this cable isn't getting to this guy uh, properly. Uh, and then we need to add a, so it needs a toilet, a bench. That's it. And other random things. And then we need toilets. Toilets. Okay, and then we, we're gonna start having the new piping. Uh, let's add flooring, or not flooring, uh, rooms, and we need to add a shower. We'll be in here. Holding cell, there's a shower. The shower needs shower heads and stuff. So we will add the shower heads. So we'll have here, 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 here. here. sense we're gonna need some pipes also uh, wait uh, I also did administrative center I need finance through bureaucracy I don't know if I'll be able to do that advanced staff training Uh, build a st staff room, sign duties. I'm sure that none of your staff are exhausted. Build a medical ward, administration. Build two offices. Hire a ward and unlock finance. Okay, I can do that. So I need to do that. I have of oh, the warden part. I need to unlock finance. Okay. And then hire an accountant, which will be right here. And I can make this room an office. And give the office an office desk a chair. Yada, yada, yada. Office desk. Plowing cabinet. And a chair. Okay. All right. This is it. We're going to have We're going to set up the canteen and everything and all that stuff. In the kitchen. Also, okay, so this is the yard. Where's the yard? The yard is... What the heck is the yard? 
yard. There's the yard. We need a canteen and a kitchen. Okay, so the office here is going to be. We need to hire an accountant. Do right now. There we go. So now we have an accountant. Uh, this section is going to be. It's a big area. Hold on. I think we should fix this real quick. Uh, we need this to be. making the canteen now we're not making it their own canteen but we're giving them uh the canteen unless this isn't the canteen that they can eat from eventually i have no idea we need to add a large jail door right here lock up Place is, place is filthy. Eventually, what we need to do is we need to just have the door open. I, I don't know how you can, but I thought there was a way for you to be able to make the doors so they open at specific times, but I have no idea. We're going to need a staff member to be able to get into here, so we'll do that. Alright, so this is going to be the canteen. No, sorry. This is going to be the canteen. This is going to be the kitchen. Okay. And then... Why... Okay. I guess the electrical wires can't reach to there, so we're going to do that. We need, their, we need to go over there anyways. Okay, so... Let's put in here, we need serving tables. So let's place them across this. And place a, do you have a smaller one that I can use? No. So we'll do this. Okay. Now we need tables.
this. For the kitchen, we need cookers. So let's do fridges first. Like that. And then we definitely need a sink. Some bins. Okay. And then we need cookers. Should be good enough for now. We're gonna need to connect everything with uh wires. And then I think we should be okay. We're almost done with the kitchen. Kiachin. Kiachin. Also, this is the uh, break room, so give them that real quick. The, the staff room. What? Okay, so it needs that wide sofa. You need a sofa. And a drink machine. finish placing all this stuff. I don't know how much we need. But we need to get the kitchen ready because we will in fact need to start being able to feed these people. These animals. These disgusting animals. These hard working gentlemen are, are working their hardest to try to get this place in tip top shape. Look at them. Hard working individuals who do not care. So, uh, actually, the, uh, yesterday, I went to go see the Garfield movie. Okay, so that's connected properly. That. That. For the water, we need to bring this over. Um, so I went to see the Garfield movie with my friend, so I asked him if I could come pick him up, uh, after work or whatever. He's like, yep, okay, let's do that. Okay, and then, so we, oh yeah, so then, um, oh no, oh man, we're actually, okay. Damn, we're already at capacity, are you kidding me? Stupid expensive, that's what that is. There. Okay. That should help us out for a little bit.
Okay. Now we need... We need... Two cooks. And we need... Two guards. Okay. We can now... Intake. Prisoners. Oh my god, no. Let's get 10 individuals. 10 individuals in. For our first, uh, thing. Now that we have that set up, we can also start taking a new grant. The new grant could be the, let's see here, cell block A, which means that we can start rate, we can raise the prisoner capacity to 15. That is our objective. If we take this, then we'll get an automatic amount of money, and we can actually technically make that today. We can have them in a holding cell until then. And they will roam the halls, as you say, as one would say. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and also do this real quick, too. We're gonna give five phone booths to these individuals. We're gonna give them some workout equipment. For those who prefer to work out, of course. We're gonna also get some dumbbell racks. Let's have them here. Here. Okay. Also, um, I think we should also have... In this room here, we need to have a reception. And the reception needs a desk and tables and chairs. Office desks. Chair. And then we need tables. So I'm guessing the tables will go here, oh, here, 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 and here. We should also have another staff person here and here. And I think we should start working on security. I think security should allow us to do some more stuff like deployments and stuff like that and patrols. Which we'll definitely want as well. Do we have any grants related to that? Let me see. Inmate care and well-being, prisoner maintenance, lack maintenance through bureaucracy, lack of foreman, two janitors and a gardener. We could also do that as well. Visitation rights, that should also be good too. We should build a common room, two TVs, at least five phone booths. Security chief. Yeah, we're doing this one right now, actually. Alright, we're due to have our inmates come in soon here. They're gonna have a lovely time. Go ahead and build that real quick. Oh, we got a phone call. The media have started campaigning over the amenities granted to the prisoners. So it's time. Uh, granted to prisoners, and it's bringing a lot of heat to my office. I'm passing a bill which bans exercise equipment in prison yards, so I need to rem you to remove all weight benches from your yards, or you will be fined. You have six hours. The water pipe has burst and is flooding the area. Fix it before the damage becomes too severe. I just started. Okay, so he's, he's t telling me I have to get rid of the... Give me one second, okay? Remove weight... Weight benches... Weights... Benches from yard. What about the dumbbell racks? Okay. So these need to be dismantled. 
Why? <laughs> That's so stupid. What a dumb, dumb thing. I just, I just added them. Okay, there. I guess they don't get anything. All right, so we got got our first batch of people. We have Dr. Rice, Christopher, cool, Dr. Rice, uh, a former researcher and theorist, few and many body nuclear physics, uh, phys whatever, diploma physics, whatever, R R G M scattering cows, D Dr. Er, Nat, 2000 scheme, HF, finite. What the hell is going on here? This is like his entire background. Since the 15 years for kidnapping. Family, girlfriend. He's age 19. Or sorry, age 20. Girlfriend, 19. Mother, 45. Father, 51. Work credentials, customer service. So he's had... He's had done kidnapping three times in a row and played guilty for all of them or is it three type uh, three different occurring kidnappings that he okay we have uh duncan tapper he is 55 years old 11 years for false imprisonment laborer so he did robbery rioting Possession, intent to supply, trafficking, and false imprisonment. We have Ben Blucifer, Tamric, cult leader of the demonic horse Blucifer. Since 13 years for multiple crimes, including death by dangerous driving and dangerous driving. Okay. <laughs> He's done both. He's done dangerous driving and also killed somebody from dangerous driving. So he was only serving one year for dangerous driving, but now he's serving 12 years because he killed somebody from his dangerous driving habits. We have Adam Raging Looney Baham, transferred from the UK, Raging Looney refused to pay his TV license and stabbed the license man to death with a spoon, which he also did not have a license for. Upon searching his home, more spoons and butter knife and a butter knife, also no license, were found. Sentenced to eight years for burglary as a mother and they were a cleaner. Moss. Paul Moss. Sentenced to 13 years for handling stolen goods. Okay. He was a cook at one point. Stark weather. Charles, Char uh, Charles Charlie Starkweather. Charles Starkweather murdered 11 people in the states of Nebraska and Wyoming in a two-month murder spree committed between 12, 1957 to uh, 1, 1958, or those, I guess, two things. In all the murders committed in 1958, Starkweather was accompanied by his girlfriend, Carl Ann Fugate. Since the two years for shoplifting. So, he, he, he's not even sentenced for him literally murdering people in the 50s. Okay, then. He got, uh, he got arrested for shoplifting. We have Steve, Mr. Brilliant Hogarty. Backflipped his BMX over a canyon and did a sick wheelie next to a policeman who promptly arrested him on seven counts of being totally rad. He accepts all charges. Since the 25 years for aggravated burglary. Okay. Richard Hill. Since the nine years for violent disorder. Okay. And that's that group. We have a whole new group of people. We have uh, Cantlo, three years of disorder. Since the three years uh, driving under the influence, 
Winter, Duncan, Wi- uh, Weiner. Or is it... Something else. Blake the Snake. <laughs> Ginger Beard. X went with words, he has talked his way out of everything until now, that is. Since the 18 years for arson. We have the Snake. Ginger Beard. All taught him. Assault. And Alex Young, since the eight years for multiple crimes, including driving under the influence and perjury. And then we have McKenna. David suddenly McKenna. Once thought he, he uh, to be lost to the seas after a crime spree, but was found protesting for Half-Life 3. Ten years for tra uh, for trafficking. Let's have everybody get in. Alright. So we need to start working on more rooms, I think. Let's go ahead. We need to do some more offices. Okay. So this one needs office desk like before. Bowing cabinet. And a chair. And then, I think he's still, he's still, uh, looking for security and stuff. We need to do, what's the next one, uh, part of the quest? We need to, uh... Here, get in there. Also, I think we should have... Ten guys. Instead. Also, what's going on with the pipes? I fix that I just have to place like another that sorry about the water people go ahead and eat fix that okay cool all right so that's what the roof looks like? Damn. It's a nice roof. Okay, um... I need to... So, we have, uh, security now. So, we need to place down security. Okay, hold on. Staff. It's your office now, buddy. Alright, uh... So we have that. We need to work on... What's the next thing? Sorry, I have to... We need to unlock patrols through bureaucracy and assign three guards to patrols. Okay. So we need to unlock the, uh, patrols. Deployment. Okay. Remotely door control system operated by a guard, guard or open the door timer, specific times of the day. Dude, that's actually that's actually really helpful. That's what I'm looking for. I was talking about it before, but we need um we need that kind of stuff. We need a guard hanging out in here. Here, guard. I need you to hang out in here. Make sure they're good. They're just kind of hanging out there. You have like 10 guards. They're not doing anything. They're just... Existing. Okay. While he's uh, researching that, don't I need to do something else? Yeah, maintenance. That's right. So we have, a, we have another grant that we can take, I think. Um, the maintenance one. After we do this one. 
So once we get bureaucracy and we get some um, stuff going on with that, we can uh. Alright, with their own cells, so we, ha so we have 15 people here, we need to start making cells for them. Okay, let's go ahead and start placing, so we want to have the cell block here, obviously, well, we wanted to have two for each side, kind of like that. I think something like this, no wait. I like the idea of providing the false sense of, of hope for these people when it comes to, uh, so I think we should do something like that. So there's literally nothing over here. Maybe like some grass or something, but they don't get anything. They're just, they're just walking back here. Okay. Oh, they're gonna get some some. <laughs> they're gonna get some drinks. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Um. We need a common room. <laughs> okay. Let's make a common room. Your new common room, so you don't just walk over to a random room that's not for you. Let's give them a common room. Give them a lovely common room right here. Let's go ahead and give them some lovely wooden floor flooring too while we're at it. Um, and I think we should also add Yeah. Okay. And I think we should add some objects to the the room. I think we should give them a pool table so they can play some pool. Should give them a TV to watch some TV. Give them some uh, some chairs, some books, you know, a lovely wide leather chair or wide chair so they can watch their TV. I think we should give them uh, some sofas so they can enjoy. Give them a little, some plants. I think. And then I think we should give them a snack machine and let's give them a, a lovely snack machine and a drink machine so they can uh, get some drinks. Where, where is it? Where's the drink machine? Okay, short. You need prison labor. Okay. Where's the regular bookshelf that you can normally place? Alright, hold on. I have to check. Uh, where's the bookshelf? Entertainment. How does bookshelf not exist? Oh my god. Entertain the environment is gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You don't think I know? We're working on it. I'm working on it. Two staff members are exhausted. Well, we have a staff room, you know.
Too many prisoners are being held in holding cells. Okay, well, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Right, right. And then we get rid of these. Right? Okay. And then we do this. Right, 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 right. And then we do this. Actually, no, we don't do that. We don't do that. All right. And now is the part where we build something. Alright, so we got the maintenance done. So we can hire a maintenance guy. Foreman. And foreman requires an office. He has kind of an office here. Not really any... Now we need to build. We need to build. Okay. Building concrete. Okay. And then we need to add uh, a large door right here. Look at this. Now they have... Yeah. Wow. Wow. I just realized I don't have a, uh, a drain <laughs> in here. <laughs> Guys, want. Okay. We need cleaning. ASAP. We need to add patrols. Deployment. We definitely want to start assigning guards. We need a guard here. We need a guard here. We need a guard not in there. We need a guard in here. We need a guard in here. Well, it should be the same guard, but whatever. Guard here. We definitely want to guard here. We want to guard here. And this section is fine for now. Okay. Uh. Yeah, okay. Now we don't need guards running around through here. Okay. I think we should have... Like it says here, we should do a deployment, so let's do one real quick. Oh wait, wait, we need to assign three guards to a patrol? Okay. Yeah. 
There. Free money, free money. Uh, completion bonus has been doubled due to a, uh, error. Okay. We definitely want this, and I think we want... Yeah, we want, we want remote access at some point. I think that'll be fun. Is there a way for me to... Make it so... Um... Staff only. Staff should only be able to enter this. Same with uh, being in here. Staff should only enter this. Staff should only be in here. Okay. That helps. Okay. And then... I don't know if making this visitors only... Only them and staff being permitted in this area. Yep. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Same with, um... Let's see here. People will try to avoid access zones possible, preferring the visitors only for this section. But, I don't know. Okay, so these guys should be able to be okay as this is getting built. Apparently I chose concrete on accident. It is what it is. Must reduce the number of prisoners in our holding cell. I'm aware. I am aware. <sighs> and we need a parole section. Okay. So I think this room here is going to be... Visitor reception. So it needs an office desk and stuff like that. Okay. So let's add a office desk in here. Needs metal detectors. I think we need metal detectors as, as they go throughout the area, you know? Once this gets built, I'm gonna get rid of this and just turn this into part of the yard as well. I might as well. Let's make it a whole yard section. I'm working on it, game. I'm working on it. How are we on... Okay, cleaning. We've gotten cleaning approved. Good. Okay. We need... 
Alright, go on janitors, start cleaning. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. And then we need powers. And we should also add some more capacities to the, uh... Once we start connecting wires to these, like that, yeah, awesome. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. That'll be that. You guys can have a wooden floor. I also have two more cooks help with cleaning. Also, what is the regime like? They don't even get... They have like two hours a yard, okay. Wait, hold on. So, let's do some... I think we should have a little bit more free time eventually. But right now, I guess this is fine. We should be okay. We need more, we need more workmen. Okay. Yeah, we, Wiener got injured. I'm sorry guys, I want sleep, okay. Look. You guys want sleep, I get it, okay. I, I understand. I understand your your suffering, okay? Here. You can uh Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, hold on. Alright, now we need- here, let's just do quick build for shared cells. So we need a lot of these. So we need one, two, right, three, four. Six, I think, four basic cells. We have a couple of these. Here and maybe here? No. So that should equal enough cells. Let's just do that. How are we on staff? I think we're okay. We need to start giving them what they want. We have to keep, like, weights out for, like... Okay. We have 
15 staff. It still doesn't even feel like enough. So now we have, let's see, what did we unlock? What did we unlock? We have remote access, which is good. So we can start doing that stuff. Requires a chief, unlocks, yep, okay. We have more intelligence, that would also be good, and surveillance. Let's work on surveillance next, I think. Should be the next thing, okay. But also money. unstable they're unstable we're working on it going on all right we need more staff they're getting a little too rowdy. I don't have enough money. Never mind. I'm poor. I'm poor. I'm poor. Okay. Uh, grants. I need a grant. Okay. And I need a gardener. Hire ground. I need to do groundskeeping and then gardener. Okay. Groundskeeping. Gardener. Okay, so, okay. Electrical. Go through here, and then we need to do water. Water needs to go through here. it or not. I think. Okay. We don't really have a medical ward, do we? Um, let's do that real quick. Prison maintenance, and then we need inmate health. So, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, got it. I got it. Um, okay. So, I need to build another shower, because now they're in rooms now. Or, well, almost. They should be. I don't know what's with the walls here. Okay. 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 
make a room. We need a ward, right? Build a medical ward, get two doctors. We need to hire a psychiatrist. Okay. Okay. I need a staff member. I need you to go over here real quick. Okay, so I need to add... Frick. I need to add an office. Filing cabinet. And a chair. on here we have one maximum security be signed to sell because we need a solitary thing right okay wait hold on I think we should have a ward medical ward Right. Well, I guess I can't make it yet because I need a... This room to be finished. <laughs> Substance of the land has, been, has destroyed a section of our outer wall. Should I have it repaired immediately? What are you talking about? Oh, fuck. What? Stop. Um. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Roll call. Bang up. What's our co-workers doing? I hate random events. Ah! What are they doing? Is there- is it because- okay. Those banning weight benches from yards have been repealed. Feel free to reinstall them if you wish. Wow. Wow. Oh my fucking god. Okay. How do I- okay, how do I go to- How do I go to reports? And... 
God. I, I guess there's nothing I can do. Great. Thanks, guys. Can you guys, like, I don't know. There you go. Do your fucking job. We lost two people. Thanks. I don't know if there's any way for me to cancel, like, their actions. I have no idea. I don't know. Is there a way for me to specify what they're doing and tell them what they should be doing instead? I don't think there is. Whatever the hell is going on. Moss, no! My poor guys, they're all injured and dying. A couple of them got out. At least Wiener is still okay. For now. He's injured. Dr. Rice is okay. Ash... Ashby? I don't know what Ashby's doing. Got Hill. Ginger beard. A snake. What'd you do? I had requested wire to go through here. Is the water also- is the water going through here? It is. Why did they decide, oh, I'm just not gonna provide water? Or electric. Whatever. These guys are sleeping. Okay. So we have groundskeeping. I don't know why we need a groundskeeper, but here you go, gardener. So I can finish that one. All right. So we need the other the other grant, which is made help. So we need to get a psychiatrist. Alright, so we actually have cells now for people. Why are we currently holding 13 prisoners when we have cells right here? Is it because they're technically not... I, I don't- I don't understand. Um... Okay. I don't know. Okay. So, we need to... Okay. Hey, this needs a chair. Okay. 
All right. Now I'm thinking, let's add... This. Right. Prisoners in holding cells. Why are they in holding cells? Why can't they be put inside these? Okay, we need the heal. Okay. You, I just remembered we have this whole section here. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing over here when I have this whole section right here. I can just put... Okay. Do I have enough for him? D did I get a psychiatrist? Psychologist? Whatever. Did I get him? Yes. Psychology. Okay. So now we're gonna hire a psychologist into this so we can now make a room where is it office deliveries um where's the ward our health. Oh. I hired the wrong person. Or did I? Go to medical ward. I don't see it. I guess we just need to get health. So I guess we have to wait until we get health. Cool. Let's make a, uh... Let's make a room. Also, I think for the couple people that we have here, here, let's make some solitary cells. For, for just for funsies, I guess. I don't know. gonna be a here it's gonna be a shower shower room shower room's gonna have so if we're gonna have okay so we have so we want it like this because we could place them all around this, right? The same thing. No, not the same thing here. Let's just place one here, 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 and here. 
Oh my gosh, what? The CEO. Keep prisoner success. Reintegrating into society, some offenders will start successful new lives. Whilst fall back in the old ones and reoffend, reform prisoners and bring on additional cash rewards. Okay. Did we get health? We did. Okay, good. So I think we should have the infirmary right here. Okay. And we need to have... We should have a door here, I think. A door right here. And then we're gonna have some medical beds in here. And an office, I think, right? Doesn't have to have one, but yeah, we need some medical beds. Nice. Did we get a new guy? I don't know if we got a new Oh, we did! We got Sandy? Ashton, Aston, Sandy. Aston, Ashton, Sandy. Joyriding. Huh. Okay. We have four criminally insane individuals in our prison. I guess we need to hire a psychologist or something. Mates. Might hurt them in the process. Orderlies are specifically trained to restrain the criminally insane without harming them. Orderlies will also fit straitjackets to psy psychopathic inmates at night time to prevent them from hurting themselves overnight. So we need orderly people to come in here. Okay, so we're gonna need to get some orderly people. Uh... We have surveillance now, which is good. I think we need to... <clears throat> improve maybe some of the, uh... that as, as well. We need to hire more cooks. Okay. Thought we had enough cooks. I guess we don't have too many cooks. And I think we should also add some more cookers to here. Maybe that will help. And then... I think we also need to hook them up. No, we won't. We won't have to. Good. Cool. So why... Okay. Do we have a psychology room? Psychiatric. 
psychiatrist. Diagnosed criminally insane. So it needs to be indoors. Let's go ahead and let's add a wall to this. And there needs to be office desk. to be a wide sofa. We also need a filing cabinet. And I think there should also be some lovely uh, carpeted brown flooring. should also, I guess, can we hire orderly members now? Not yet. But what we can do is add a psychiatrist. Programs menu. Alright, let's go to programs and let's add... What is it? So we need a... 101, so we need psychiatric... Consultation right here. We can add this to the uh, to the regime, and we have more. Let's add more free time instead of lockup. Like that. One period of lockup. Shower. Then. Uh, the shower needs more stuff. Okay, pause. We need to add... Shower heads. break room okay so now we need to do work slash free time for these or you could just have them free time for now and then we can do in the programs we can reschedule so wait what do you need I guess this would technically be if we go to regime. I guess this would be work, wouldn't it? I have two hours uh, each. No, 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 sorry. Two hours of work slash free time. So people who want to do that, they can do that. And then programs, go ahead and reschedule it. There we go. And then we should also re-add the, uh, the weights. So there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. 
slots to your regime. You're right, I do need to add more mealtime slots to the regime. We should have a three hour long one. We should also... I think we need to add a better system for the door right now. Door system. Uh, in here, I think we should have a security room, right? We have a security room? Hmm. Security, security. I thought we would have a security room. I guess I would technically need an armory, wouldn't it? Would it just be an armory? Like, clip. Okay, wait, hold on. So... Security, right there. How did I not see that? Okay. So we have security. Let's add some walls here. Security needs office desks, filing cabinets, all that stuff. We need a door control system. And we need somebody to do the phone tap. And we need somebody to do CCT monitoring as well as we need to have an office desk in here, a filing cabinet and a lovely chair. Okay. And that will happen after they place these. We should give them, they have like a whole thing of yard time. Alright, time to put... Now that I've done that, we need to start doing some uh, some of this. have this too because it's probably gonna complain why is Wiener in here he's very suppressed right now oh yeah and then we also need um we need drains in here. Oh, we need power going into here. And I need a guard to be assigned in here. Also staff only. Cool. Okay. So. We need to start placing CCTV stuff as well as door controls, right? Connect. What can I- so I have to connect specific doors, right? So it has to be remote control type doors? Let's see. Um... Remote doors. Okay. Do we have double remote- like double door remote doors? Or does it have to be a single door remote door? Hmm. 
Yeah. It looks like it's remote doors. I have to dismantle this. Uh, then dismantle this. This is a lot of money, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop, stop. We need fire engine stat. Oh my god. Open. Alright, I learned my lesson. I will make sure to add... <laughs> I'll make sure to add, uh, fire extinguishers to the, uh... To the room. I'll add fire- I'll fire- uh, add fire sprinklers to the room. Okay? Okay, d door control system. Why can't I can- Why? What do I have to do? Will not open without working servo attached. Working servos? What the- What? Okay, so I need a door servo. I don't- I don't get it, but okay. Alright, there we go. There we go. 
Okay. So I need I need working door servos for those to work. Door timers. Use the connect tool to connect this timer to your door servos. So I need door servos. Oh man. Okay. Why? Why is it so complicated? Okay. Freaking door servo shit. Freaking door servos. Okay, hold on. Okay. Now we need to add now we need to add utilities, wiring, and we need to add door timers to these. Right? Also, hold on. Are these not part of the connection, my guy? like Okay. So it opens during eat and lock up. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Okay, wait, do I only need one of these? Okay, okay, wait, hold on. The door timer needs to be... ...dismantled. Yeah, where's the workers? Where's the, um, cooks? Why aren't they cooking anything? Regime. There's like a whole... There's like a whole thing for eating. Okay, hold on. Here, I'll give them that. And the yard thing can just become free time. I get like multiple hours to eat. What? Wait, 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 what? Oh my god. <laughs> Why is this so complicated? I haven't even expanded on, on 15 people. Oh my 
My guys are dying. Yeah, if I just do that instead of doing like the weird like open doors a specific time thing, then... Now they start cooking. Dropping food all over the place. Bro. Why are you doing this? I've decided I'm not gonna use this for some reason. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Fucking pieces of shit. I specifically have you guys put in these these onto here and then you don't do that. Why? Oh my god. So for some reason, this door, it has to be like this instead. How about that? Try that. Can you not take it some- okay. Why? Okay. Why can't you get to these doors? It will not work with the ser working servo. Why? Why can't you get to it? What, what's the problem? Okay, you know what? Here. Just lock it open then. Lock both of them open. Then you can get in there. I don't know what your problem is. F work. Do your job. Same with this one. Lock open. Do your job. I don't understand how they're starving. Gentlemen. Okay, now you- now you work. Okay. Oh yeah, also these need to be connected too. Wait, the max number of active connections. Oh, that's cool. Wait, what's going on with this one? Hold on. No, 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 no. What, what's going on with this one? Get over here now. There's no power over there. At some point, somehow, the power got disconnected. So now I gotta fix that. We don't have enough people. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with the... Uh, all this stuff. Okay. Grants... What grants do we have right now? Staff well-being. Build a staff room. Have at least five guards not doing anything. Okay. And I just hire a bunch of guards. There you go. I made that requirement. Whatever it was. Okay. So now those are connected, which means that it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Now we need to build... Okay. So, let's see. Okay. So we have short-term investment. Let's get that. Um... Criminally insane wing. Oh, yeah, I have orderly people. Okay. Let's build a criminally insane wing. Wait, build two- hire two psychiatrists. Build a wing cell block for the criminally insane with, uh, ten padded cells. I guess I could do that, couldn't I? Um, hmm. Staff training- advanced staff training. Uh, visitation rights. I think we should have a visitation section. Let's do that. Let's get a visitation area with a common room. At least five phone booths. We've already gotten that. At least two TVs. He's unconscious. Okay. Rat damaged. Uh, okay. going on. Okay, hold on. There's like random garbage. What the hell is going on here? Subsidence. Rat damaged. Rats? Rats did this. The damned rats. Okay. We're gonna need more janitors. One more janitor object. Let's add another, uh, let's add a, another TV. I guess, uh, I don't know. Here. And then have a wide sofa here. I was hoping to add a, um, whatever you call it. But we need a visitation center. Okay. So clearly we want the visitation center here. So if we do some planning here, so we're gonna have it come out like this, right? Why can't they get to the canteen? Again, why can't they eat? There's food here. Three people have died. Probably due to this guy overdosed. How'd he die? Starved to death. Uh, we have food. We have food. How are people starving to death? How are we not able to provide enough nutrients to these people? This is why we need... One of those door timers. The 
Let's place a door timer. Where's the other ones? It's open during those times. He's just dead. Murdered by a prisoner. Oh, he's having a... What's what going on with you? He's criminally insane. Okay. Well, anyways. I wanted to do, like, a whole thing with the... Uh, but now I don't know anymore. Okay. Bam-bam. Bam-bam. Okay. So, we want the visitation center. Okay. Okay. So, if you remember, I think there's a the thing here. Right. So, obviously we want we want to keep the tradition of that. We have like something like this. So, I think this goes out like this, so we have multiple kind of whatever. I think for, um, mm, well, actually, okay. We need to do it like this. Right? So if we did this, no, 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 okay, should do this, and then this can be the, uh, the visitation section right here, like that, this could be the visitation room, and then this portion will be part of the, so we have, like, I think we just need to start building more cells. We need to start having more sections related to cells. Except for this. This needs to... Mm. I think it'll be fine. We can always expand, I think. Right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can expand. You don't want it to be that big. You want it to be this. No, stop. I want to do that. Right? Obviously. Do that. Actually, we'll do a door here. We'll do a door here and a wall here. We need doors here. Like that. This can still be a hallway, so that's fine. Um, all right, go go get him. You see, he needs to calm down a little bit. Our prisoners always look really tired. I think they just, uh, aren't sleeping because they're murdering each other. Hmm. 
Who's the new guy? That isn't dead. Alright, we got a couple. Apparently, for some reason. I guess we need to start making sections. So this can be the, um... Medium. I guess. I guess this will be medium sec. Wait, are these, aren't these, um, section? Yeah, there is bookshelves. What is their needs? What is, what are their needs? Warmth. Oh. They're cold. Well, shit, I didn't know. Okay, um... Okay, okay. Alright. So we need a boiler of some kind. Oh yeah, wait, wait. First, before I even bother giving them warmth. Uh, how about I instead do the, uh... Security and start adding CTVs everywhere. that and then we can have one have one here we can have one here have one out here okay and obviously we can have one in here. Or not, actually, screw that. Do that. And that. Okay. Now we have those everywhere. Oh yeah, we need visitation room, that's right. Okay. So, visitation room. Okay. We need money. Our daily ca cash f flow is, is, uh... We're constantly losing money. Now warmth is, like, the huge problem, but... I can't do anything about it, so... Okay. Um... Let's see. Wait, why don't I do, um... Yeah, okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'll get my money soon here. Visitation. Right, okay. Now I can see in all the rooms, I can see what the hell's going on. Right. I I don't have like any money. Okay. Uh we need to start getting people in. 
We can get at least 25 people in. So we can actually intake more money. And we are losing money, right? What? I don't have enough money for that. Okay. Everyone's getting angry. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Okay. One got away today. People are calming down now for some reason. What, what is this? It'll get fixed. It'll be fine. It's gonna get fixed. Four people died today. They starved to death. Because again, I don't know what, what's going on here. They're not cooking fast enough? Or, or what? I, I'm so confused because it's like... Funny game, funny game. Oh, there's more. This this uh, wall also got destroyed as well. That's just fantastic. I love... <sighs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't know what to do if... So we're equipping some more mischievous with the tracking belt. And we'll keep track of them through the security room. Just seen a rat. Perhaps we should think about in investing in some form of deterrent. I have more deterrent related stuff. What do you mean? What do you mean deterrent? What do you want from me? <laughs> Doctor, the rat problem is now an infestation. If num if their numbers aren't reduced, it's only a matter of time before they pass on disease to prisoners. What? How am I supposed to deal with rats? Oh my god. This this uh prison is is coming to uh is is coming becoming a huge problem oh my god <laughs> the rats are taking over what am i supposed to do about rats everyone's cold i don't know what to do about it because i i can't afford to do anything Ugh. okay hold on Water boiler. I need a guy to go into here. No, you go into here. Okay, stop. Stop. I need a water boiler right here, okay? Okay. I don't know how the water boiler thing works. I have no idea on whether or not it needs to have like a special connection kind of thing going on. I have no idea. We need radiators in the rooms.
Okay. So the rooms are nice and warm. I guess. I don't know what the radiators need for warmth other than it's related to water so I might need to actually put heat water pipe things in there. Also, I need to connect water to this, I assume. Suffering from an illness due to the presence of rats. We should look into it. They just completely wrecked the room. <laughs> this prison sucks. This prison is terrible. It's the worst prison ever. Everyone's dying. People are fighting each other. I need to see if... What's going on with the water situation? It just hasn't been finished being made yet, okay. confused because am I supposed to go this way? I don't know what they're trying to go for here. Unless there's like a pipe I don't see that it's it can't get to. Oh, it needs power. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, so how's the water now? Okay, so now it's actually going. Okay, good. Okay. And it does have a whole thing related to... Oh my god. Okay, so... It has to go like this. That's how it has to go. And the problem is we need to have boilers throughout the facility for it to work properly. That's a little annoying. Warm water, I think, now. I think. I'm not sure. I- I don't know. I don't- I don't know. Alright, we need a CCTV. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. We need a CTV, uh, whatever one of those things in here, because this is just stupid. I'm not gonna dedicate a whole person just to check in here. Okay, so this can only have a certain amount of, of security, I guess. This 
rats hanging out. Alright. I give up on this prison. This prison is a failure. In my eyes. This is a t this is a terrible prison. One of the worst I've ever seen. Oh my god. The problem with this one. The problem with it was this go online or join an online game? No. Um the problem with this one was there was a lot of problems with it. Visibility inside of your prison buildings unless you have guards patrolling the area. I think um for next time I should just or well, I'll probably just do this on my own, but I think I need to have some of this stuff changed. Snaf needs shouldn't be a problem. Just uh, make it simpler for me. So then I don't have this problem again where I need to maintain like a bunch of stuff that I I guess I can't I couldn't maintain. I wasn't ready to just automatically immediately get there's a little rats. The rat thing needs to just not exist. I sh that was a dumb idea. No rats. Although they they won. The rats won. How was I supposed to deal with the rats? How was I supposed to deal with rats? Because I don't have anything on here. What is my goal for rats? Do I need to... Emergencies rat pr pest control. Alright, get in here, pest control. It's time for you to pest control. Oh. I guess they're gonna go in and start pest controlling. Let me look at the water situation again. Okay, so we have water now. Not entirely, but we do in fact have water, per se. We need to make more of these, I guess. And then I need to then connect a pipe to it, like this. And we also need to connect electrical wiring to it. And then we take the metal pipes What? Congratulations on handling the calamity. Please accept this bonus of ten thousand of a billion dollars. Yes, thank you for the money. Yes, thank you. Very good, very good. I love money. It's fixable. Our current situation. But... I don't know how much of it is actually fixable.
We need a new one, I guess, for CCTV. So they broke some water pipes. Which is really annoying. Oh no, they didn't. They just broke a toilet. they want from me. I guess I need to finish this uh, room idea that I was working on. At least attempt to. Let's see what happens. Okay. We need visitor doors. Double visitor doors. Where are they? There. And now they know where to go. Silly, silly visitors. I built this wrong. Good job, me. Wow. Great. Good fucking job. Uh, that's fine. You know what? That's cool. You know what? I have an idea. You're gonna love it. Right? And then we... Okay. Okay. Okay, so this one needs to connect this one and this one. So now they have... We're actually doing okay on power, surprisingly. Um... What's going on with the pipes? Uh, they didn't get built. Got it. 
Water pipe is broke. Fantastic. Love to see it. Clothing. Now they're worried about clothing. Okay. So we need a laundry room, right? We make a laundry room and stuff. So let's do that. Let's make a laundry room. Laundry. Do we have laundry? Chopland, Carol, Shackled, Batty, Mitchell. We have a lot of new people here that I'm not aware of. Stark Weather. Anderson. Okay, so here's the question. What's the deal with this? Okay, now they all have power. Okay, cool. Or water or whatever. Hi. Um. Hmm. Wait, okay. Where the heck is laundry room? Unless laundry's right here, we need prison labor for a laundry room. Okay, then. Hold on. I need a staff member to go over here right now. I can see what's going on. Okay. Alright. So we need to build the walls. We build these. And then we need to place the large jail door here. Let's place a jail door, a regular jail door here. Okay. And then this room is, I don't know what this room is just yet. So we'll just place a jail door right here. Or actually let's just place a staff door here for now. Cause I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. And then we're going to also need to add... And then we're also going to need to add... Uh, before we do a door here, let's add the, uh, where is it? Metal detector. There's a metal detector. So let's use security. Security. Metal detector. Okay, so it's here before they enter. Well, actually, let's place them here instead. And then we should have a CCTV in here. We should have some power. I can't see now. a bit tatty, I'm aware. Would you die from starve to death? Still don't know why they're starving. They just are. Mm. 
These guys are supposed to be able to find food or get to, to the canteen, but... I guess they just don't have enough... I guess they need more cooking stuff or something. Right. So this is going to be the visitation center. Visitation. Alright, so we're gonna need here, let's add a guard just in case. But we're gonna need visitor tables. have a common room. It's right here. It's, it's supposed to be indoors. What do you mean? It isn't... Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright. I know what the problem is. I think I have to do something like this. I think there's just an opening here or something. I don't know what the deal is with this. Other than that. There you go. Now there's a, a now there's a common room here. Yeah. They're dirty, tired. And then we should add, well, I need to unlock prison labor, I guess. So let's unlock prison labor, I guess. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to actually give prisoners a way to get into the... Okay. There. There. Now people can meet their people or whatever. Do we have like a... Let's see. they can see this is the problem you guys can eat you're just not I don't know I'm giving them ample time to eat ragamuffins It's time for us to build cell block B. It's time for us to increase our prison. There we go. And we need an entrance. Let's just add a door right here for now. We'll fix it. We will fix it.
visitors 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Let's see if they have visitors show the three visitors or whatever show up. We should also have a parole room. Which I think we should have right here. Can we have parole? We can. Let's have a parole room. We need a prisoner table. Okay, hold on. Let me get a thing here. A door. Let's put the jail door right here. And then I think all we need is a prisoner table. Welcome, Platin. False imprisonment. We have a storage room, you know, you could use that. I don't understand. Overdosed. I think it's time for us to do a, a shakedown. It's time to shake down. Prisoners should know better. Electricity, zero connections. And then we don't, we won't need a, uh... It's a big room. Okay. Okay. Then we need a door. dead. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
A bunch of rag ruffians. At a f another facility highlighted potential issues with security checks comes a family visitation in prisons until the process is properly reviewed all visitations must be suspended you have 12 hours to remove all visitation rooms from your prison wow thanks you mean the one that I just added and hasn't been getting used okay uh, bye I guess stop here um, I'm a bit hungry oh actually wait hold on I need to grab uh, I need to grab like there Okay. I need to take one of these guys and go into here. I don't know, go all the way over here. Okay. Um basic cells. here we want one here yes okay want one here we want one here we want one he we want one here uh we want one here no 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 wait we, we want one here we want one here we want one here we want one here uh-huh okay here and here okay and on this side we want this, 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 and this. going to be a big section for people. A snitch. We're seriously low on cash. I know. I know. We're, we're bringing in the money. <sighs> what's a little debt gonna do, you know? <laughs> it's, a, it's a little... Mis we, we participate in a minuscule amount of debt.
No, Wiener, stop getting angry. Why are you getting angry? You're dirty? Luxuries, luxuries. Oh my god. Wiener, calm down. Okay? Seriously low on cash. Okay, I know, I know, I know. I'm aware. There have been zero deaths today. No. There have been two. One of them was killed by a... Security officer. Oh my god. Alright. I give up on this prison. It's over. It's over. It's over. Alright. Oh man. I think I'm gonna stop here for today. Okay. That's gonna be that, I guess. Um, wowie, wowie, wow. I wanted to play this a little bit on stream. I fucking suck at this game. I don't- I'm- I'm terrible at it. As it turns out, I put too much- I put too much challenge in my game, and, uh, I really paid for it. Oops. Oops. Oh yeah, so, about the story. So, um... Me and my- I picked up my friend, we went to go see the Garfield movie, and I ordered some Little Caesars. So, I ordered Little Caesars on the website. And we go through the whole process and whatever. And then I just leave it be. I guess somehow, I don't know how this is possible, but somehow, I, okay, we'll get to it. But somehow the ad address was incorrect. It went to a completely different person's house. So I'm like, the guy called me and he's, and then I answered, I said, what's up? He says, I'm here. I'm like, oh, that's not, oh, I don't live there. Uh, this is not where I wanted the pizza delivered. Could you come and deliver it to my location? And I tell him my location. He says, look, you're going to have to contact whoever you ordered the uh, thing from. I just worked for DoorDash. I said, okay, I'm going to go contact them. I go and contact them and I tell them the situation. He said, okay, we're going to go ahead and contact the person so we can get send them the correct address so they can then go to the correct address. They then did not pick up the phone for the person that was then calling them. And instead of just picking up the phone to answer the phone call that had just happened because of this, uh, he refused to answer it. So then, they called me back saying we cannot get a hold of them. So, keep watch of the order. I said, okay. Uh, alright. So I keep watch of the order, and then I try calling him once, he doesn't answer. I try calling him again, he doesn't answer. I call him one more time, and he said, hi, uh, yeah, so... I called the DoorDash people, and they said, just the only, uh, here's what you can do. Here's what you will do. You will take a picture, you'll uh, say, oh, complete the order and take a picture of the door, and that's what you do. And that's what the DoorDash people said to him. So he said, good luck uh, on getting your pizza. And so I said, okay. So now my pizza is at some random person's house, 
and they completed the order despite me going out of my way to do the thing that he just said to do. And uh, he said, good luck to me. So then I said, great. So I contacted Little Caesars, and they said, since the order was technically not completed, we cannot offer you a refund. Thanks for calling us and letting us th uh, know the situation. Bye. I said, okay, thanks. So, me and my friend, thinking this is one of the stupidest things ever, get in the car and go and drive to the location where the pizza was dropped off. And we're about 90% of the way there when I realized the pizza was sent to my friend's house. I didn't know his address, so I didn't know until after I realized that's what was happening. Because there was a picture that was sent of a green door. And I remembered the green door. And then I remembered my friend said that we're going to be driving past our friend's house. And then I said, oh my gosh, we're going to his house. So I called him and I asked him to check outside of his door to see if there was a pizza. Or, like, to check outside his door. And then the next thing I heard after he checked his thing, he was in the middle of, like, a league game or something like that. He, he just laughed because he just then saw Little Caesar sitting outside his house. So let me explain. Okay. So, I guess at some point, somehow, the order was sent to the last location that I had sent Little Caesars to. Despite me writing down, I know I wrote down my address to be the location that it should be delivered. But for some reason in the system, it still sent it to their house. Don't know why. Uh, if I were to go to their website, let me see what happens if I go on their website. And try to order again. Delivery. Change address. I'm guessing I somehow managed to not click the correct thing because when you click start or so that's my probably what happened is I managed to not click change address somehow I thought I did but I guess I didn't so then when I go and check it out and I go through the whole checkout process no thanks I somehow managed to not put in the correct address. So, anyways, that was my bad. Uh, so anyways, so under the assumption I thought I did enter the- I, I managed to gaslight myself into thinking that I had entered my address because I think the billing address I had I entered my billing address and thought that that I, I somehow entered my actual address for where to get it get it delivered anyways got my pizza in the end and on top of that my friend happened to be home at the time and we then dragged him along with us to go watch the Garfield movie so then it was us three going to go see the Garfield movie <laughs> I, I genuinely wish that in the real scenario that was playing in my head, I genuinely wish there was a huge mistake that was made by the company. They somehow sent it to a random person's house despite me entering my address to where it got delivered. So then after going through a bunch of, of calling and tech support, 
they refuse to refund me and also the person decides to just drop off the pizza there anyways uh i go there and then i was i would hope that the pizza either would still be there or it would turn into a thing where I have to then, the pizza's now not at the location that I'm currently supposed to be at. I then knock on the door and then I, I would ask them about the pizza or something. And it turns it into an entire Fallout New Vegas quest line about obtaining my pizza. But no, uh, the reality was uh, I had not changed the address on the screen, which I thought I did. And um, it went to his house instead. And then I went through all this effort trying to make sure. Although, to be fair, it would have just been fixed if the guy had just waited, picked up the phone, and then had Little Caesars change the, the address to, for them because he refused to listen to my thing. Because I guess on DoorDash, I guess the way they have it set up is... Um, Guess how they have it set up is uh, they have to take pictures for evidence towards the DoorDash company. They have to have evidence that you actually sent it to the correct house. I guess. I don't know. Anyways, that happened yesterday. The Garfield movie. Um, it's a classic father son, uh, father leaving son movie and father-son getting back together movie thing. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even know PlayStation did a state of, of play. State of play 2024 live stream or graphics features like ray tracing. Shut up. Functionality of every part of the... Or uh, Kojima. This is a uh, normal... <laughs> you this can't is... stop thinking. The Bioshock. Think from... They could one. call him in for... Rumors hit the internet about... Earth up and down, left and right, or graphics. Is this it? Or is this it? Here it is. Okay. We might watch this just because, um... Just need to go... Oh, they have like a bunch of extra stuff here. This is about an hour and 40 minutes, or actually less than that from what it looks like. It's about an hour long. So this actually might be worth checking out. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, State of Play, March, it's only 35 minutes? Hmm. Do I watch the 35 minute one instead? Yeah, let me watch the 35 minute one. I didn't even know they were doing a state of play thing. Okay. Uh, I guess I might as well. Here. State of play. I'm gonna go ahead and start making some food. Or actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and state of play moment and then just do games and demos i guess or special special events okay let me go ahead and share the screen here uh <clears throat> i'll be right back i'm gonna go use the restroom and put some food in the oven or something real quick.
All right. I think I'm going to turn the uh, model back on because there's no reason to have it turned off now. Ah, oh, shit. Wait. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, wait. Hold on. 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 All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to turn on uh, this again. Uh, hold on. Hold up. Okay, I'll pull up. How about at the after party? You are on your friends and you're not that good naughty. Okay, I'll pull up. <laughs> okay, I'll pull up. Alright. Okay. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Okay, that's... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's get let's get on lock. Here we go. It's our moment. Here we go. Oh, I'm a little too far. Here we go. Okay. Start. Start. Cheap, cheap, fun, fun. Programs mature. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Hi. Asad Kizilbash, head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family, Firewalk. This team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry, huh? with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. We announced their first game, Concord, last year, and today, they're revealing gameplay captured in engine on PS5. In engine. But first, here's an extended vignette introducing some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. Okay, I Enjoy. don't care. I, I immediately don't care. It's probably just gonna be like CSGO fucking Apex Legends bullshit. I don't care. PlayStation. I'm ready to be disappointed. so quirky. Look at how quirky this universe is. It was a spontaneous creative decision made after years of careful research. Being really old and almost dying a bunch doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked, didn't it? How much longer for the upload? Uh, a few more minutes. Hey, start time. Tight with hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. Oh. Where's this fucking coming? wrote this it's shit? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, Trust me, we're professionals. Right. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then, that. Oh. <laughs> that was not the plan. Technically, it was a plan. It just wasn't the same plan that we started with. If we don't leave with this blue Amar, button, We will. We will. I'll be waiting outside. Ah. Uh. No one moves. We'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Dude, it's Guardians of the Galaxy, dude! Dude, it's a Battle Royale, dude! Need it to run in. Wait, what? Where's the Red Bull, dude? dude? Copy that, Bill. Deal it's out. a hero shooter, dude! Well played. Uh, Fine. Oh, I only got one of my legs. But how are those hands? How bad is it? You're still mad at me? Lennox! Got him. Oh, this... Why does this sound like not my man? One off, this is you! Got him! 
I am developing a taste for destruction. Ha 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 ha. Goodbye. Ha 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 ha. Totally optimistic robot. Do not do that. Please stop doing that. It's this not funny the 50th time. This would be a very dishonorable way for us all to die. Don't worry. Nobody's dying dishonorably. And also, we're bringing this back with us. Hey. Hey, Mark. What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Perhaps we should have let go also. One off. Do not dare. Well, we were supposed to stick together. If you and let go, I swear leave me. I will be. Oh, look, there them. they are. Hi. What the? I am glad you avoided a dishonorable death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Uh, or something. I knew this was gonna work. This wasn't the plan. No, this wasn't the one so we started bad. with. It's fucking like Disney. All right. Another satisfied customer. Goods delivered. I send everyone their cut. Ooh, yeah. So do you like carry hey. it around with you for emergency bland situations or whatever? Hey, Mara. Hmm? Don't joke about something like this. Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. We'll no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. We were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never feel your fiery embrace again. You sound ridiculous. Concord is a 5v5 first-person shooter set in the vibrant sci-fi universe of the Concord galaxy. In Concord, from the moment you log on, you are part of the crew of the North Star. Look, 5v5. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This story had nothing to do with the, with the gameplay! What? What does the gameplay have to do with the story? Group of guns for hire known in our Except galaxy. Except for the fact that there was like five of them. See, as free gunners. Free gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high stake jobs on worlds across wild space where they face other fiercely competitive free gunner crews. Here's so the same exact people, <laughs> they're just fighting themselves at, at, at launch. <laughs> They're just fighting their the clones. The very first look. Are they going to explain in lore the deal with, like, you fighting yourself? At the gameplay of Concord. What? Free gunning. Oh. It's our work. But it's our work. And we don't take it for granted. Here's trailer two. Being a free gunner means... Gameplay trailer. Well, you're free. Right on target. Yeah, you better run! Free gunners have a shot at making something of themselves. Oh, uh, they're playing with the controller. Alright! Be nice. Uh, yeah, I forgot. This game is literally uh, being played on to fix PlayStation. Up. It looks really bad. Unless that's the quality of the stream. It is. Okay. 1080p. Let's at least try to get it close to I need to a second to fix like. myself up! Fucking stupid ass for a competitive hero shooter. And in the wild, it even has like the game. Overwatch sound effects. You won't survive on your own. Target blinded! Target blinded! Finally! So it, so what? It's it's literally just a, a PvP. It's not like a. It's like actually like just their version of Overwatch. Or is it? Or is it like a game like a? Or is it like CS:GO or Valorant? I'll clear the way. Time to show them the big guns. We haven't That's shown if it's me. an objective-based kind of game that where like you have one life, this or if you go anywhere. get multiple lives. Take any job. Face any enemy. Explain. This game's gonna be very boring and average when it's at launch. I'm gonna be real with you. We're the free gunner crew of the North Star. And together, 
We're going to make our mark on this galaxy. Uh, pain. The crew pain. is gathering. Would you like to join us for game night? With Concord, we lean on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well-balanced FPS that feels great to play. We focused a ton of it our attention like it was and our tech by, uh, on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, Destiny precise two. visceral Mushy. shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games in the interesting way that the asymmetry of their characters makes every fight, every matchup feel really different. Leaning into the asymmetry of the characters, really pushing the possibility space of two different characters colliding, it's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We also have abilities that are meant to have impact beyond direct combat. Deployable gear that can persist throughout a full game, so whether that's multiple rounds of a mode, or multiple respawns across a match. There are healing pads, bullet blocking domes, explosive traps, lane blocking walls, all kinds of ways to support your team or disrupt your enemies. Coordinated teams can set up and plan ahead, and depending on where and when it happens, players can shift the battlefield to their advantage. We've got everything from mystics and medics to gunslingers and sparked robots. Every character brings their own unique personality, skills, and wide-ranging perspectives to the crew. Every week, when you log into Concord, you will be welcomed with a new cinematic vignette that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories the and relationships and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? We're excited to share that we'll be hosting that's a pre-launch beta thing that's in July, here, followed by Concord's cinematic. global launch the game on August 23rd, average. 2024. It's generic. And it's on PC, so good for them. That's where most of their players are going to be on to complain about it. Remember, it's hackers. It's going to be hackers, buddy. June 6th. Average. Terrible. I thought the writing of, of the cinematic was really cringy. I did not enjoy it at all. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. Oh, great. So it's on PC now. Are Congrats. A calm and reasonable person. So we, we don't have any games to uh, to release, so we're just going to release a game on War PC is coming. and give it the... The prophecy saved them once it leads to Ragnarok. Wow, well, PC. It's probably going to run like die. shit. It's going to be horribly yeah. optimized. Death can have me. If they're actually going to delay a release date for a port... Then it burns me. That's Morgan's actually got going to tricks be up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. We have guests! Ugh, they're too fast! Look out! Fate only binds you if you let it. Coming out Do what's next necessary. year. It's a port. Not because it is written. We hired a third party to do this port, and it has a lot of problems. Better say it releases today. September 19th. It's a port. You didn't have time prior to this to work on it? Why do you need like a billion? Okay. Why didn't you just wait until it was ready and then just be like, it's releasing today? I don't understand. Why, why do I have to wait or pre-purchase a PC version of a game that came out like, what, three years ago? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Game companies Soldiers have lost their mind. Alike. 
Uh, wow, people, it's Ghost of Tsushima. Game. Oh my gosh, Ghost of Su to Tsushima to port to PC. There's no new games. Perhaps this is Heaven's way of lamenting the state of the land. Men it's are powerless at the feet of the divine. But even so, I've never played Ghost of Someone Sushi, must so. act. Average Momo, I think I was dreaming. It wasn't a dream. Uh, Genshin Impact game, it will really Genshin Impact to Inspire me. game. Wow, the path of a spirit is never easy. So, are gotcha you ready game. for it? Ready, We're ready. Pursues infinity, or is infinity awaiting you? Stars, fields. I have seen the miracles you so claim. Tips works until the Ew. towering shadows vanished into the mist. I pray for their grace, but all that came were inferior shades. Why do we have to bear the consequences of such power? Time. War. Bloodborne. Mortality. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. <laughs> Waiting for the dodgeball. There it is. Way with emissaries. Grant us the forgotten miracles. Rain fire from above. <laughs> this desolate land. In the game. In the game. In the game. In the game. Remember. No matter what happens. We did not betray this world. Wow. Have a less complicated name. Again with the f complicated names. Ballad of Antara. Huh? Sky Dances Behemoth. Have a easier to remember name. I thought I could be a hero and break the curse. Wow, a uh, VR game. I don't care. I don't care about a VR game. At least they're trying. 
only monsters do. Yeah, like a bow is gonna do anything. Why didn't you just jump out of the way? Oh my gosh, I'm about to get crushed. I'm gonna stand here and shoot a bow at him instead. What? At least they're actually bothering to release PSVR 2 games. What? Alien Isolation VR? Why is it running at like 5 frames per second? It's running at like less than like a couple frames per second there. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles coming to PlayStation, starting with a highly anticipated PvP shooter playable soon on PS5. Highly anticipated by who? This is the first time I've ever heard of it. Or something like that, right? Stronger together. Very interesting. I see why this is much anticipated because it's like appealing to a specific. Who needs a power up? You know what? I might give this a try if my friends are good with this plan. This looks really good. Healing power. I'm back, baby. Three, two, one, blast off! You. Gonna get sticky. What? Huh? Feel the wrath of the goddess! Marvel Rivals. Okay, let's see how mankind has conquered space. All right, where's um? Where's the Marvel character I'm really into that I like? Uh, Iron Man. Where's Iron Man? Or where's the Hulk? Where's? Let's see here. Of course, the Spider-Man characters are going to be on here because Sony owns, like, part of Spider-Man for some reason. For some weird legal reason, like, Sony owns Spider-Man. I don't know. Hold on. I have to, like, let me look at the, uh, let me look. So, Disney, hold on. Disney Plus. Let me look on Disney Plus and see what's on there. No, just... Just show me the- okay, you know what, fuck you, I guess I won't. Mar- Marvel. Ra uh, the raccoon guy. He's cool. Uh, hold on. Characters. Here we go. Captain America. That's a good one. He's hot. Uh, Deadpool. I want to play as Deadpool. He's cool. He's based. She-Hulk. We gotta. You gotta let let us be able to play as She-Hulk, um, from the TV show, She-Hulk. What does Mister Fantastic do? Rocket Raccoon. Luke Cage? Oh, Ghost Rider. Yeah, we need Ghost Rider. I'd, I'd play Ghost Rider. 
Wolverine. I'd play Wolverine. He's cool. Professor X. I'd play Professor X. I'd, I'd move around in a, in a wheelchair and be smart. Doctor Strange. That's who I'd really want to play as because I like Doctor Strange. He's a cool character. He's fun. Marvel Rivals. I have to give that a try. PS5. Where winds meet. Okay. I have to write that down because Hello, it's an impossible to fans. remember name. I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Oh, one of these. Oh, nice one. You can't hide from me, Michael. Oh, you're going down. Oh! oh. Save tonight. It means so much to me. That we're all still here together. Fight the break. I feel like someone's watching us. There's no one out there. Let's make this one trip we will never forget. This is part of the that one group, right? I forget what it's called. Dawn by whatever, Dead by Dawn or whatever it's called. I was down there. You were? Until so Dawn. Dead. That's what it was called. I don't want to make hasty decisions that get everyone killed. No, no, no! We should stay put right Is this here like a major game instead of going to Jessica! Oh, no. You can't let me die! Or is this a remake? This kind of feels like a remake. It is? Until dawn? Huh? So it's a remake or is what the hell is it? Because that wasn't the original characters. <laughs> That wasn't the original, like, actual Until Dawn. That was clearly a remake of it. But, or like a remaster? I don't know, man. It's not a remaster. It's Ogden was a once remake. a peaceful land. Of some kind. But each day descends further into madness. A reboot. Famine. Of Until Dawn. Plague. Besiege us. The very earth is being poisoned. The Count's men. Once our protectors have turned on us. Diablo 4 and now update. They come for me. Oh, yes, get out of here. Yeah. Diablo 4 coming to PS5. You know, the. A lot of people don't like the other four, right? Blizzard I must be the up. one to face this nightmare. No noose this time. I'll remove your head myself! But I need not do it alone. Couch co up. How's that work? Path of 
of Exile. Two? Oh. Oh. Path of Exile 2, huh? I didn't even know about that. Here's the Silent Hill 2 remake. Excuse me. Oh! I'm sorry. I, you! I was just... It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Ew! I'm looking for Silent Hill? What'd they do to her? I think you should stay away. This town, there's something wrong with it. What'd you do to her? Is it dangerous? Maybe. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. Where's the awkward voice at? I'm going either way. No. You shouldn't be here. I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Mary? Is that you? Mary? Who's no. Mary? Please. Why didn't you show that iconic scene? Why'd you show the random girl that... I mean, like, she does have significance, but, like... The girl who's supposed to look like his, like... Capcom announced this next game last December, offering Fuck just you. a glimpse of what's in store for their celeb... Cap... Silent Hill Transmission. Capcom announced this next game last December, offering just a glimpse of what's in store for their celebrated franchise. Today, I am so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. Cool. And you guys, like, just released, like, a Monster right. Hunter game that takes, like, a million years to finish. As soon as we find a good spot, we can get things set up and ready to go. And then we can get started. This is gonna be great! You bet. I hope we find them soon. give a shit about Monster Hunter, so none of this excites me at all. Wow, look at that damage! I've selected you as a lead hunter for this for me, expedition. For the gameplay you, of, of Monster Hunter is the most unsatisfying gameplay I've ever, I've ever 
scene. I like the parts where you get thrown around and thrashed around and stuff, but like whenever you hit the monster, it doesn't do anything. It like it doesn't show anything for significant periods of time when you're slashing at it. It just sits there motionless like you didn't even hit it. And yet, like, you have all these, like, special attacks that do kind of make it so it reacts properly. But, like, the other times when you're hitting it, nothing's happening. It doesn't, it, it's not satisfying at all. And it just ruins it for me. And then you have to chase it down for about 20 years. Not my thing. At all. Is this how PlayStation announces they're not supporting PlayStation 5 anymore? come out September 6th oh this year cool yeah, I'll, I'll put it on there I'll give it a I'll, I'll play it <laughs> be sure to visit PlayStation blog yeah, sure for I'll more on the it. games you just saw as well as PlayStation.com for the latest on days of play this global celebration runs through June 12th with deals wow, on a, PlayStation store great new content coming to PlayStation plus um, and much more what a completely useless um, I think there is one, two, three, four, five games, and one of them was already announced before. Uh, <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy vibes until they show it's a fight. Yeah, Co a Concord Cinematic uh, was giving me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes until they show it's a five by five shooter, and all my interests went away. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. PlayStation should honestly just stop working on live service games. Your Sony, the games as service model is not sustainable. We don't want 20 of them every announcement showcase. Can't you uh, drop at least one or two quality single player experiences this gen? Well, what are you talking about? There's Astrobot. <laughs> Astrobot is a is a single player experience <laughs> a 10 second countdown for 30 second countdown is insane 
<laughs> Sony, understand. We want games focused on single player narrative and not multiplayer games. Yes. Okay, Sony, enough playing around. Where are the real where is the real state of play? My expectations were zero and I was still secondhand embarrassed by this. <laughs> Alright, Bloodborne fans, time to get your clown makeup ready. <laughs> We, I mean, we kind of got that. Concord, a game nobody asked for and nobody will play six months post-launch. And it will also die. It will have a billion problems and hacking problems. It's going to have a, a bunch of problems as soon as it launches. And it, it's going to completely destroy the entire game's, like, thing. It's going to destroy it all. It's It's... <laughs> All right, let's see some some Silent Hill gameplay. Hold on, let's check out this epic Silent Hill gameplay. Remade in the original village vision. I don't know about that one. It doesn't Lock have the tank TV. controls. So <laughs> I can't forget the journey into the dark recess. This whole town was our special place. The the one You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. That's what they should start Mary, calling these like remake games. They're actually just reimagining. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Is she really alive? Is she really alive? Funny ah uh, walk. He walks in 30 frames per second. What is this? Hey, wait. actually okay with the transition between running and not running because that's just how the original game was like <laughs> why don't you have always run on dude you need to have always run on where's the respawning monsters yeah crawl into that yeah yeah that's my guy that's my boy Harry I forgot what his name is already. I always forget the characters' names because they're really simple. I think it's, I think it's Henry or Harry or something. Oh shit! Is this the? <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> he has a funny nose. <laughs> Why didn't you attack? I hope that they actually keep the part where, like, not all enemies are, like, aggressive in this game. Or they don't immediately just aggro and attack you and run towards you. If the, if you make your present knowns, then they, you know, some of them will. Some of them won't. Some of them will, will scurry around 
like they're a bunch of bugs or insects. I hope they keep that. You have the, the red around the border to show that he's injured. Where's the uh, inventory management system? You're gonna go up to a random car. Oh, I guess cars have stuff now. Okay. What was that? What was that animation? <laughs> that was that was uh, something else. <laughs> Where are you, Mary? Where are you, Mary? I know that's added into the cutscene. That's not actually in here, but I loved like the jerkiness of like the. Marks on his map, too. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, that, that didn't look that bad at all. What are you doing, freak? What you got there? It's Bugs Bunny. None of your business. You didn't love Mary anyway. What? Hey, wait! Where are you going? How do you know her name? <laughs> How do you know Mary? <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm gonna go grab my food real quick. Hold on. Things freaking out. Oh god. Okay. Alright. I got my food. I. Yeah. Okay. Also, your be screen. Where's what's her name? Oh, she's following me. Okay. Where did she go? I don't know. <laughs> Let's look around. <laughs> they look so gross. <laughs> Bloober team, you silly bloopers. Nice map. This place feels so empty. More than the other places we've been. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not asking much for the, uh, combat. I mean, any amount of combat that you do is going to be leagues better than what they did in the original. Oh, 
Laura. Wait. It's okay. We don't want to hurt you. God damn it. Now. Hey, it's the Brookhaven Where Hospital. Is that girl? This hospital has been like in every Silent Hill game. I don't know why. Okay. So they don't automatically attack you. I actually took some of that into account. Ah, you're wasting ammo. <laughs> Just his sister, he goes. <gasps> his lungs are made of tar, and they forget this. Bear. It's a bear. Ow! It hurt me. What the heck? Looks like a weapon. A convenient place, conveniently placed shotgun. Hmm. I don't need it. Never mind. I want to keep it. What if you picked up a shotgun in a video game, but this, and instead he just puts it back down? <laughs> room as he e3 looks around This section in the uh, second game. The whole ho ho uh, hospital section is like spooky. What the heck Laura, are you doing here? Why do you keep running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Let go! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just... Stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. 
it. <laughs> and then, Isn't and then, that... literally like two seconds after this scene, you walk through a door. She locks it. <laughs> she locks it and runs off. She's like, "See you later, weirdo." I gotta get. <laughs> it's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. Uh, uh, <laughs> and then she locks you in there. You can not even see the lock on the sure door. This is where you left it? It's in the back. Behind an old pipe. Okay, wait here. <laughs> you idiot. You idiot. Haha. <laughs> 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 Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Points and laughs Can we at open you. it? Huh? Do ya? Let me out of here, you little rat. In your dreams, fart face. <laughs> <laughs> fart face. <laughs> Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face. Laura! Laura! To show at least one boss fight. To be fair, they were far and few between, and they were uh, abysmal to fight against because of this shitty combat system. It was honestly yeah, better. I seriously, I still, I still stand by this. The combat was somehow so much better in Silent Hill 2 because the combat wasn't the important part of the game. And so a lot of the bosses in the game were a lot easier to deal with because they actually compensated for the fact that you can't control like a normal human being. Except for that one fight at the very end in the hospital where you're in the roof and you're shooting a person f in a bed floating in the air and you have to aim up and shoot at it and you have other things bothering you while you're trying to shoot at it. I hate that part. That was the worst one. Where, シリーズ最高傑作として評されたサイレントヒル 2 これからご紹介する事前予約特典などもご確認いただきアクセスしてみてください。では、ここからは商品ラインナップのご紹介です。本作のスタンダードエディションを事前予約していただく。The <笑> the dog ending from the first game and the Robbie the rabbit mask from the third game. ことで Do they not think they're going to make a third one? Uh, they're not going to make a remake for the third and first? Why? そしてピラミッドヘッドのマスクが含まれます。アートブックは本作アーティストの伊藤正弘さんがデザインしたクリーチャーのほか登場するキャラクターや様々なロケーションのコンセプトアートが130枚以上収録されています。またサウンドトラ
特典としてミラのマスクとプレイステーション5限定でロビーザラビットのマスクが入手可能ですさらに特別な特典としていち早くサイレントヒル2を楽しんでいただくことができます、はい so Silent Hill 2 Deluxe Edition on PC. You don't even get the Robbie the Rabbit mask because it's PlayStation 5 exclusive. I'm guessing that's Sony. I'm guessing Sony, they had to give people reasons to go purchase the, <laughs> the PlayStation 5 version. And they couldn't think of anything else interesting, so they just gave them. A Robbie the Rabbit hat. God, pre order stuff is so shit now. Why don't we just not have pre order stuff? It's not even worth it. It's just going to sell as DLC later on. It's not even worth it. It's just going to sell as DLC later on. It's not even worth it. It's just going to sell as DLC later on. It's not even worth it. It's just going to sell as DLC later on. It's not even worth it. It's just going to sell as DLC later on. こちらの一覧表で各エディションの特典をご確認くださいこちらの一覧表で各エディションの特典をご確認くださいこちらの一覧表で各エディションの特典をご確認くださいこちらの一覧表で各エディションの特典をご確認ください。がおすすめです。皆様ぜひご予約の上発売をお待ちください。さて、コナミとゲームの開発会社であるブルーバーチームがタッグを組んでお送りするサイレントヒルツーですが、ブルーバーチームのスタッフからメッセージ映像を受け取っています。こちらをご覧ください。Japan be like, okay, let's just have one of these CEOs just stand in front of a camera and just deadpan talk about their game pre order. All right, and then, all right, Bloober Team, the Americans, all right, go ahead and、um, do your video talking about the game. <laughs> Excited for people to. <laughs> and then they add like an entire editing, they add editing and everything. <laughs> It put so much effort. You see, like, shit from Japan, like fucking Nintendo Directs, and you see, like, the CEO just stand in front of a green screen and just talk about something. They're so putting in some work. It turns into, like, this weird, like, conf conference meeting. I like how they put subtitles over her. Play this game. Like, There's no one、her. aspect that I could say. <laughs> She's British, so you can't understand her. I'm very excited for, for people to play this game. There's no one Actually, aspect that I can say that. Actually, she's not even British. I think she's Swedish. I'm, I want people to experience because I want people to experience all of it. It's such a journey. It's such a big part of our lives, and I just want people to be able to see it. Is is a、uh, is a、uh, Blooper Team Swedish? Poland. Okay. Basically, basically the same thing. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who have not played the original, but at the same time to、yeah. still retain the familiarity of the, of the game that the player remembers from 20 years ago. Our goal from the very beginning was to maintain the game's atmosphere. 
while modernizing the gameplay to make it competitive in 2024. Competitive? Bro, you just need to have a good game. In the remake, the story remains largely the same. However, with the magic of modern technology, we were able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest was designing combat. We want to be as faithful as possible uh, to the original game, but also we want players to feel satisfaction while playing, uh, mm -hmm. remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. <laughs> Just barely give people ammo and give them like item management. Or something. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer have much more control over what players see, where they go and so on. The change for the third-person perspective was a challenge. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world. Look, Bloober Team, look, look. If you wanted to remake the game, here's the thing, right? You could have easily, and I'm telling you, easily done the static camera thing. You could have just kept that. You could have easily just kept that. Just update the combat. Update the graphics, update the combat. Uh, you didn't even have to necessarily update the voice acting, although it's nice to have upgraded voice acting. I mean, obviously, I would prefer to keep the original voice acting personally, because that's, it's, the way that it was is how it was, and since they're clearly not doing that with the voice acting to this, you know, Sound Hill 2 remake, it kind of loses a little bit of its purpose in that aspect. I don't necessarily know. I understand the reason why the voice acting was purposely terrible. It's because it was to add like a sense of unease. To show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible and just make this game richer. Well, the main thing that required Reacher. rethinking was the fog because it was called classic in the original game and be the veil that covers the world and, and uh, makes the player to feel even more isolated. Isolated. New technologies gives us a really chance just, to do things that we... I really do want them to just expand the town. Not possible during the early generation the of video games. That's the most important part for me. For narrative, this is very visible in facial expressions. My, my so least favorite parts about Sound Hill was the fact that... I've, I've made this complaint while playing it, but just the fact that I don't get a chance to take in the environments and really explore the environments because I'm constantly having to run because it's a survival horror game. So for a, a survival horror game, they need to have some amount of a tent, uh, you know, of tension or something. So I'm sitting there running constantly past things that I want to look at. So much for just I just, can't, I just don't get time to just on characters faces. Take it in as much as I really want to. The presented gameplay footage shows a fragment of the city from the beginning of the game and sections in Brookhaven Hospital. The fight against monsters is prepared in a more tactical form, and it's mainly based on the varied designs of the enemies. James is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting your approach to the situation will be the key to success. However, okay. your playing style, among other things, determines what ending you will discover. Multiple endings? I am a Japanese CEO standing in front of a green screen that vaguely looks like a pine So I'm Luke Roberts and I'm playing James Sunderland in the remake of Hold on. James Sunderland, give me a minute. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright, I want to look at the voice actors who did the cast. Voiced by Guy Saihi. 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 What is he doing now? 
He's currently still alive. American-born actor who voiced the, and did the motion capture for James Sunderland in Silent Hill 2. Beyond Silent Hill 2, he hasn't worked in the video game industry before or since Silent Hill 2 until Forgotten Memories, where he voiced a character called Nathan Barnes. Huh. Well, what are you doing now, buddy? Why didn't they hire him again? He's currently living in Japan. But he was born in New York City. Uh, so much just notifying him. Wow, they even they talk about the uh, the original one. Let's see here. Silent Hill HD Collection. Upon hearing the original voices in Silent Hill 2 were to be replaced in Silent Hill HD Collection, Guy posted his Facebook page that the reason behind the change was because Konami refused to pay him for his work as James Sunderland for the game's re-releases on the other consoles. Mary Elizabeth Mc McGlynn, uh, who had taken over the new voice work, claimed Guy was in the wrong and had been ignoring calls from Konami representatives trying to work the problem out. Further statements and uh, from cr uh, other creators for the HD collection, as well as from um, whatever I don't know how to say that name, voice actress for Lisa Garland in Silent Hill, affirmed that residuals payments made to actors and their initial payment for the use uh, and reuse of their performances did not in the gaming industry uh, do not exist in the gaming industry. Statements by David. Um, the original voice actor for that person uh, have said otherwise. Currently, the Actors Union uh, in the United States uh, does not have a residual system in place for video game voice acting performances. And under non-union contracts, residuals for any kind of uh, acting work are almost non-existent, with almost all performances being paid for as buyouts, one-time payments for unlimited use and reuse. However, it is possible that actors in Japan are compensated differently, and all the other original motion capture and voice acting work for Silent Hill 2 was recorded in Japan, giving a possible explanation for the discrepancy over Guy's claims regarding residuals. Another possible explanation is that, according to both Guy and the other actors involved in the production, no legally authorized, wait, no formal written contracts were ever signed, which means that according to an intellectual property law, Guy never legally authorized the use of his likeness and may have been entitled to monetary compensation for the unauthorized use of his likeness in the game and its subsequent re-releases. In any event, Guy stated that it was not about the money, but rather the thought the thoughtless way that those involved in the production have been treated, such as not notifying him of any re-releases and hiding the contributions in the making of Silent Hill 2 video. Guy also called for Konami to allow the original voices to be uh, to, and to give fans the option to choose between the original dub and the redub. Guy's close connection with fans and series of the strong, uh, series played a strong part in his decisions regarding these issues. Monica Taylor Horgan supported uh, supported giving fans an option as well. Eventually, Guy met up with Monica Taylor Horgan, um, Mary Shepard Sunderland, and Maria um, David Sh uh, Sh Shufeli, uh -huh, Eddie, uh, Devin Shatsky, and Tom Hewlett. And the voice actors gave Konami their written permissions to use their voice for any re-releases of Silent Hill 2, allowing their voices to be used in the Silent Hill HD collection. Why hasn't he voiced... Why didn't they have him voice, um... Why aren't they having him voice the character in the remake? Shut up.
Who are you again? Hold on. So I'm Luke Roberts, and I'm playing... Luke Roberts. Why the heck are they having Luke Roberts? They even use his face, I think, too. For the character. Why aren't they having Luke Roberts' voice? What is this? Hmm. Well, anyways, we'll have to see if any of the original voice actors actually come back to redo their roles for Silent Hill. I'm James Sunderland in the remake of Silent Hill 2. My name is Salome Gunnarsdottir. Oh my god. That is a, that is a name. Monica Taylor Horgan. She does not come back, either. Seriously, none of the characters? None of them? And I play Mary slash Maria. When you're playing an iconic character such as James Maria. Sunderland, you obviously have to respect Maria. the original. When playing these characters in this game, the thing that I paid most acting. attention to was the original game. So he is not um, an action hero by any means. Um, he is just a guy who is a little lost at the top of this game and uh, in, in a sense of, um, he, he is to, to a greater extent in a, in a bewildered state. Um, so it's very interesting um, charting his, face. His, his journey. This one, we're trying to honor something that's already been made. And so it's not me creating something, it's me channeling something. The tone of this game Well, now is... I understand why the faces look weird, because they just use the voice actors' faces on the characters. I... Like, I get it, like, it's motion capture stuff, and that's how you have to do it sometimes, but... I can't help but Very. point out the fact that it just doesn't look like the character, you know? It doesn't look like the- also, by the way, I'm sorry, I'm not showing the screen. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So you see her face, right? His journey. <clears throat> you see their one... faces, her face, there's her face. We're trying so they to do the motion capture for the bot, like, motion and capture so for it's everything. it's not right? me creating something, it's me channeling. And then they just put her face on... Maria. Mary, whatever. Maria or whatever, Mario. Something. And it just doesn't look like her because I think they did that for Silent Hill too, didn't they? I mean, yeah, they they pretty much did. But man, why didn't they bring her back, you know? Why didn't they bring her back? That's the real question. Monica Taylor Oregon. What does she do right now? Is it because they're on the older side? Is that why? Like, they're just older, so it's like... Can't bring her back? What is she doing now? There isn't a lot of information about her. She was only with the sound house. Oh, and she also did some additional voices for Shinmu. So, she's just straight up gone from the internet. She's just gone. She's retired. That's why. There's like no pictures of her. She just doesn't... And I guess this is the most recent picture. They're def you know, they're all on the older side at this point. But... <sighs> Fine. The tone of this game is very important, and the team it at Luba were very keen to create an incredible atmosphere um, for the, the, uh, for the, the voice gamers. actors of the original game do just as much heavy lifting towards creating that the original experience and creating that experience as possible, and it it's really hard to. 
look at the characters and they don't look like what the characters were always looking like in the original games. Do you believe know, they don't they look completely different that from they look like they're there's somebody cosplaying as the character rather than it actually being the character. This will be trying its very best to capture and recapture the atmosphere. Like I don't I guess is it just impossible for you to redo their faces with mulch the vibe and like you can't just redo the face to look more like what the character did in the original games is that impossible to do with motion capture or is that too much work times like the literal words and moments of the original like i get it but it's like imagine like walter white right you <laughs> Let's say let's say they did a new let's say in Better Call Saul, they instead of bringing back, um, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. What's his name? Shoot, how do I not remember his name right now? That, that's depressing. I'm so sorry. Hold on. I don't. I can't believe I forgot his name. I'm so mad at myself. Brian Cranston. Um, so imagine instead of bringing back Brian Cranston to reprise his role as Walter White for a couple scenes or like some scenes in Better Call Saul, they just hired some random guy to then play as Better Call as White Walter White, and they just completely ignore the fact that he looks nothing like he did before. Because he's he's older now, because Brian Cranston is older now, we can't have him reprise his role anymore because we can't use. And then <laughs> people would be mad. I wonder if people are mad for for the fact that they don't use the original voice actors here. The fuck's Eddie gonna look like? He's gonna be reprised as like a really skinny guy who's like malnourished eating pizza in a bowling alley. Oh my god, that's so depressing. Oh my god, that's I came to adapt Silent Hill 2 with respect and passion. It's an, an act of passion for me. I consider that the four first games are a masterpiece. Very modern and very transgressive piece of art. The second game is uh, the most adult of this all the movie. Silent Hill. It's a story of James Sunderland. He has lost his beloved bride and he decided to go back to Silent Hill to find her. And he realized that basically the town has changed. It became something like a hell, his own hell. And he's going through all this circle of hell to find her back and find also wow. somewhere a truth about himself. This yeah. film had an emotional level to so the horror. So we're not and only getting a remake of the of that, game, but we're also getting a movie of the is even more disturbing, game. even more unsettling. <laughs> I consider that the first film was like an epic journey for horror. This one there is There's a really cool like scene a in the original film with the uh, sirens the because the it first... was the only game that incorporated this whole idea of the sirens doing something to the town. And then the team went on to do, uh, I think it was called uh, Siren. The game was literally called Siren. Uh, <laughs> and they, the team became Team Siren or something. And Siren 2, but that game brought back the whole thing of the Siren bit. I don't know what's with the Siren thing going on, but... And I know the original team who did Team Silent wasn't the same people that worked on the, the original Silent Hill. Well, okay, sorry, that's incorrect. That's completely incorrect. I believe the director of Silent Hill 1 moved on to make Siren. Film production design. I don't think he worked on Silent Hill 2. I don't think so. I could check real quick. Okay, let me check the director of Silent Hill. No, not the movie. Yeah, we get that you made the movie.
Here we go. Kai, uh, Kai, uh, Kaichiro Toriyama. Kaichiro Toriyama. He did Siren, Silent Hill, some other stuff. Silent Hill 2. Director. Not the movie! Oh my god. Okay. Who... Who did it? The director was, um... Mas uh, Masashi uh, Suboyama. Masashi T Suboyama. Game director. He was born, studied graphic design, joined Konami in 1995. Okay. This role would vary early on. Um, Ima... Ima... Or Ima... All right, Imamura Akihiro. Imamura Akihiro was the game's director. Well, Suboyama began as a uh, as the art director, but as the project became much bigger than expected, Imamura transitioned to producer and general overseer of the team, and then he took over the directing. Okay, he also worked on designing and modeling the town for the game. So it was two separate people than the original person who directed the first game. Kaichi Toyama for Silent Hill. What was his role in there? Japanese developer notif notable for co-creating the Silent Hill for Forbidden Siren and Gravity Rush franchises. He was an employee of Konami. Irving as the director and scenario writer for the original Silent Hill following the game's release, Toyama and the other team members stepped down from the company and joined Sony's Japan studio, which was disbanded in April 2021. But uh, he was a former Japan... He and other former Japan studio employees founded an independent company, Bokeh Game Studios, in 2020. Okay. Let me look, let me look that up. Let's see how they're doing right now. What are they currently working on? And it's probably going to be in all Japanese. Oh, no, it's in English. They're working on Slitterhead. Oh, yeah, that game. That game is strange. This game is super strange. So th this is what he's currently working on. So this is, yeah, okay. I've seen this. This is the one where the head split open. Yep. Uh, Kaichiro Toyama. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you've seen it, you've seen it. Okay, so they're working on Bokeh... 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 I don't know how to say that. Bokeh Game Studios. Without us. Who's currently working on here? Let me see. It's Kaichiro. They're an independent company. They were founded in 2020. Makes sense. And this is going to be their first game, I guess, in uh, under this company. That makes sense. All right. Um, where Toyama expressed his desire to take advantage of his new creative freedom and return to his roots as an artist. The company is currently developing horror-based action. Dude, I think uh, Forbidden Siren is a very beautiful game. Very detailed and beautiful game that I really want to give it a try. And I think... Um, I think Silent Hill 1 had some really interesting concepts, but... Uh, overall, lacked in quality due to the just the sheer. My favorite thing about Silent Hill One was the fact that it gave me room to breathe when it came to being outside. It didn't just constantly throw enemies at me, constantly. So I was able to deal with some of the enemies for a while. They weren't over the top when it came to being obnoxious. Um. Named Mumbler, a creature designed by Masahiro Ito. Ooh, another person I know. Masahiro Ito. I think he's working on the designer and art. He's working on the 
something else. Yeah, I don't think he's working on I don't know what he's working with right now. non Saho related works. It includes Drawing Art for Kiba, a Japanese trading card game, and Metal Gear Solid 4. Huh. He uh, has released an art book. I'm like diving into like the lore. Not me in Silent Hill. Join the team, Sony Interactive in Japan Studio. You join Japan Studio after when Sony after left Konami as the same year. You started to develop a horror game called Siren, also known as, known as uh, Forbidden Siren in Europe. It's called Siren everywhere else. Version of the sequel until. Uh, 2008, he developed another new IP called Gravity Rush, it is a, and its successful sequel to second game. He left Sony. I actually never played Gravity Rush. Let me look into that. I never looked into this. I've never seen this. I don't know anything about it. But I might have to give this a try. Gravity Rush is known for every days. Oh, so it's like an anime game. It's like a very, it's an anime game. And then Gravity Rush 2. There's a remastered version. It's $30 for the remaster. Came out in 2012. Damn. Made by Project Siren, that's the group. Pan Studio and Project Siren. Hmm. Well then. Um, thank you, Kaichiro uh, Toyama. Thank you, Toyama, for your contributions to video games. Siren is a really cool one. And I really do want to play all the Siren games at some point. Siren, Siren 2, and Siren New Translation. I guess, Siren, what is Siren New Translation? What is that one? I, I need to know more about this, alright? There's a lot of lore here. Siren New Translation. Let me see here. Siren, Survivor Horror Stealth Game, Project Siren Development Team, PlayStation 3. What is it about? Americanized remake of Siren. Stealth-based survival horror video game. So it's actually a remake of the original game. It's a reimagining of the original with many alterations to structure and content along with the most gameplay with most of the gameplay improvements introduced in Forbidden Siren 2 are orientated to appeal to American public with Western characters and simplified mechanics. More action oriented oriented and without many of the horror and without that many horror or mystery elements so it's actually shit <laughs> so it's worse uh, in that aspect because i guess american american so stupid american american don't understand horror they so dumb okay fucking Uh, survival game. We want this survival game. Which I have to, like, go out of my way to... It's the most unforgiving survival horror game. Yeah. Sounds like fun. So I need to obtain... At some point, I will try to obtain uh, Siren 1 and 2 for PlayStation 2. And obtain uh, Siren New Translation at some point. We'll have to give those a shot. Five, okay, shut four, up, shut up, shut up, shut up, three. shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Sign of uh, Silent Hill was the big thing. I remember that all my energy was on, on it. And on this one, one I had the great surprise the to realize that the people who were going to help me on the production design, but also on the makeup, but also on uh, the costume, but also on every level of the film, I had in front of me very young technicians who knew the game, the film, 
and love them. The level of enthusiasm that I met on this film to create that strange world of Silent Hill was quite unexpected. I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm, I will have to explain a lot this film to my crew. And in fact, no, I didn't have to because they were the 2.0 generation of Silent Hill lovers and that helped me a lot. And I think that the I level the of uh, design on, on, on this film when is Silk so song? high because it's made by people who knew the film and the game. So that's very gratifying and uh, very emotional somewhere. Christoph is really faithful and respectful to Silent Hill and that's why Konami has always I don't, I don't been really think this supportive. Is be that they are good. working on their property and we are working on their, uh, let's say, the world treasure. I kept one of the main ideas of the first film, which is that all the creatures are played by dancers and acrobats. If the first film has not aged badly, it's because the creatures were actually in front of the actor on the set. So all the monsters on this film are played by real persons, a physical gift. They have created a level of and harmony into the monstrosity of these things. I haven't Which played I think, Resident Evil 4 yet, so I can't play Silent Hill. Just the plot. Akira Yamaoka is not only the composer of the first four original games of the franchise, mm -hmm. he was also the producer and the director of the game. So Akira Yamaoka, through his music, has given to the game more than just the sound okay. he gave the so, of the game. And I don't I know if you know this, but soundtrack. Resident but Evil 4 and Silent Hill are not related. Could be like the one of Silent Hill. Yes, Akira Yamaoka is, uh, is on this film. That's very important for me, you know, because... Uh, I like I'm how Akira is just like creation. cemented I, I his purpose in the it's series. It's exactly like adapting a great book. It's important to show respect and humility into this process. I guess this is film of the new RE4. Are you just talking about the <laughs> gameplay? <laughs> I mean, no. No, it's it like the <laughs> gameplay <laughs> looks kind of like it was made using the same engine, but it's not made using the um, the Resident Evil engine or whatever they call it. It just kind of like, I mean, it kind of looks like it, just like how um, just like how Alan Wake 2 looks like Resident Evil 4. But they're not related. It's hard for the sound of the tune here. <laughs> yeah, I, want to, I, I made that comment before as well. I said, I hope they have an Easter egg of it just hidden away somewhere where you just see Comic Sans Silent Hill sign just off somewhere in the background. Just like, hey, remember this? It's just RE4. No. RE4 is a unique experience. The original. I'm the original, not the remake. Remake is, I never finished it because I didn't find it interesting. Oh, okay. Androids. First, we have Smile Company's products. Where's the Silent Hill? Where's the Pyramid Head Fumo? Silent Hill series' most popular creature, Red Pyramid Shing, is coming to the Android Android. オプションパーツとして付属するオーナタがやりを付け替えてお楽しみいただける仕様となっています。次の商品はこちら。結構より犬エンド6分の1スケール貯金箱スタチューの予約受付が、いよいよ本日より始まります。物語のすべては芝居
as one of 5,000 in the world? Are you kidding me? I need to go to Fanatic website? <gasps> まずはジェームスジャケットです。サイレントヒル リメイク版サイレントヒル<笑> これまでのサイレントヒルシリーズのテーマを踏襲しつつ、現代に生きる人々へのメッセージを盛り込んだ短編作品です。これまでのサイレントヒルシリーズの コンセプトアーティスト伊藤正宏の完全監修を経て桜が消失する赤ない美しさとプラスカイでプレイヤーを精神的に追い込む心にまとわりつく恐ろしさを宿したスタチューになっています続いてはサイレントヒル雑誌
I already said my I already said my song and dances. I I've I said what I need to be what what need to be said. <sighs> I'm just disappointed. It's not the original voice actors. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm just it's not it's not my characters. Okay. Okay. It's not my Silent Hill too. But, I mean, it can imitate it if it wants to, and I'll just consume. Okay. Alright, that's gonna be that. Um, we saw the state of play, it was shit. We saw the Silent Hill 2, and that was a little bit better <laughs> compared to everything else we've seen today. Uh, and, yeah, I suck at Prison Architect. That's uh, that's the that's the gist of the entire stream. I suck at, at everything. Um, okay. Uh, I do plan on. I don't know what playthrough we still need to finish. It's been a while, so I kind of forgotten. I forgot. Um, but we need to. I have the Max Payne trilogy, and I want to play through Max Payne series. Um. So, yeah, I want to do that. That's what I feel like doing, and that's what I guess I'm going to do instead of finishing any other games that I need to finish on stream. I'm going to do that. Like, we never finished Fear. I haven't finished that yet, or Fear Extraction Pointer. Percy's Mandate. Um, I haven't finished those. Slayer's Axe I haven't finished, but that wouldn't take that long to do, I don't think. And I don't know. <clears throat> and uh there was like another game that I needed to play through on stream. Of course there's Bloodborne. Uh Oh yeah, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. You anyways, okay. Uh have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Um Going.